So my name is Christopher Simmons. I run a small design firm uh, in San Francisco called Mine. It's myself, a designer and intern, uh, and project manager. Uh, we're here at Rooster Tail, which is an American uh, rotisserie chicken restaurant in the Fillmore. So Rooster Tail had seen the work we'd done for another restaurant up the street and uh, called us in to help them start their new restaurant. Going in, we, we knew it was going to be a comprehensive project. So our job was really to uh, define the brand, um, the sort of the attitude, the personality, the look and feel. We knew that there was going to be the logo, for example, the main signage uh, outside, the menu. We knew there was going to be an art component, you know, some sort of decor element and the website and then incidental things like you know business cards and things like that so we start with a couple of exercises that I like to think are fun I think the clients think they're fun but who knows the first thing we do is give them a series of images so it might be Coke versus Pepsi or Paul McCartney versus John Lennon and we force them to make a choice so you might say well you know McCartney was the musician and uh, Lennon was the lyricist and you identify with one more than the other, and that tells us a little bit about, you know, if you want to go maybe more uh, visual or more verbal in your branding. We usually start with the logo because that's the part of the project that clients identify with most, especially for a new business. We showed five or six options uh, initially, ranging from all type solutions, you know, very sort of classic logo types that put it squarely in the restaurant space, to pictorial depictions of chickens, of course. And then we had this one sort of outlier, which was um, the logo that you see now, the, the sort of chicken carcass with the, the arrow through it. It was something I sketched in my notebook, you know, alongside the notes I was taking when we were talking to them. I kind of doodle hearts a lot. But you realize that the heart kind of looks like, you know, the chicken carcass. And if you put an arrow through it, which you see in sort of like, you know, classic tattoos, it's a bit like the spit on a rotisserie. And so I like to think it was a bold choice for us to uh, propose it, but it was a bold choice for them to select it. Menu design is a really interesting challenge when you're doing a restaurant and I think our menu for Rooster Tail might have started off as like a 10 or 12 page word document with everything kind of organized by what seemed like logical categories to a chef or a restaurateur. Appetizers, sides, entrees, etc. What we then have to consider is how to interpret that for a customer. So a customer comes in and they, they need to make some choices. First choice, chicken or not chicken. So it's known as a chicken restaurant, but they have non-chicken dishes. So we put all the chicken things, entrees, sandwiches, etc., in sort of one column, and then all the not chicken things in another column. That helps us organize the menu visually in a way that's gonna be more accessible. The menu system we designed for the wall menu is completely modular. Every item is on its own panel and they are adhered to the wall magnetically. So if you want to change a price, a description, add an item, take out an item, it's as simple as just swapping one, one piece out. But the menu is digitally printed. So it's basically inkjet prints right on a bamboo substrate. We looked at lots of different kinds of woods and wood treatments, but the bamboo is sustainable, it's lightweight, and it does a really beautiful thing when you print a lot of solid color over it is that the grain comes through, which is you know, helps us know that it's wood as opposed to just you know, some synthetic. So the website is also you know, an important part of the brand. We went kind of the extra mile on it, so if it's like the restaurant itself, it's sort of riddled with Easter eggs. If you go into the descriptions, you can click on them and get these sort of you know, humorous uh, stories behind each of the items. When it comes to starting a new restaurant, you, the most important thing is just getting the word out there. Then there's the social media strategy where you know, we've got to figure out what platforms you're going to be on. Are you going to be on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter? How many of those can you reasonably manage? You know, there's no point in setting up an Instagram account and never posting to it. Um, so we settled uh, on them basically to make Facebook their primary vehicle. We just kind of set it up for them. And for the first few months, we were also administrators on the site. So we would um, help uh, post, you know, news items and reviews, things like that. The lesson I think that we took away from Rooster Tail is really not to underestimate your client uh, in terms of their intelligence, in terms of their vision, um, in terms of their willingness to take a risk. We do often, as designers, hold back because we think we know something about the client, um, about the problem, but it's an assumption. And it's important not to hold back. It's important to, you know, to put it out there. 